The Pittsburgh Pirates baseball team's bus driver arrested for a DUI. A flight attendant made a bomb threat to stop her ex-lover from going to Miami. And there's no more bus 666 to hell. These are the weird stories for Thursday on Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian inside a closet where it's hot. It's very balmy. <laughs> I'm in my underwear. The bus driver for the Pittsburgh Pirates got a DUI, a drunk driving charge for the bus driver of the Pittsburgh Pirates Major League Baseball team. Strange. I thought the Pirates traveled by sea. I had no idea they traveled by bus. (laughs) And I thought they were known for getting wasted. Didn't they invent rum or something? (laughs) That explains the parrots on their shoulder. They're drunk. They're drunk. Let's get into the details. I like this because it's a sports story, and we don't get many of those on Weird AF News. A bus driver was arrested on a charge of driving under the influence of alcohol while transporting the Pittsburgh Pirates from Chicago to Milwaukee for their weekend series with the Milwaukee Brewers. Well, you can't expect to get out of Chicago sober. I mean, it's a very... And, of course, you can't expect to arrive in Milwaukee sober either. There's a lot of drinking in these towns, from my understanding. Um... The Illinois State Police say the driver was traveling away from officers seeking to escort the bus on its trip to Milwaukee late Thursday. Oh, so it was a police escort, and the bus driver drove away from the police escort. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Follow me. I'm going to lead you. And then the the bus goes off on the back roads (laughs) for good reason. Bus driver's like, I ain't staying anywhere near these police, all right? If they knew what I was into today... (laughs) It's tough being a fan of the Pirates. Now, the Illinois State Police said that they observed a lot of erratic driving from the bus and eventually stopped the bus on the right shoulder of Interstate 94 in Chicago. Police say the driver was arrested after they observed, quote, multiple signs of impairment. I wonder if the Pittsburgh Pirates team observed signs of impairment or if they even gave a damn. They're probably just tired after playing a game. The driver isn't a Pirates employee, it says here, but was contracted to drive the team to Milwaukee after the completion of their series with the Chicago Cubs. So this isn't their ordinary um, captain of the ship. Uh, This is a contracted driver who uh, was probably very excited to be driving a Major League Baseball team and just, you know, got a little, uh, had a few pops before the shift. You know, this this happens. (laughs) We have a... Pirates Senior Vice President of Communications, a guy named Brian, who said in a statement, we are deeply concerned about what took place. Now, now the important thing is that all of our personnel arrived in Milwaukee safely. Buses are contracted out to a local provider, usually, which was, this was consistent with this trip as well. We are now in communication with the appropriate parties uh, regarding this matter. No doubt they're doing a thorough investigation here. They may even find that the driver of this bus was a Milwaukee Brewers super fan who went and applied to be a bus driver in Pittsburgh months ago in preparation for the arrival of the Pirates. He's like, you know what? We could win this game if the team never gets there. (laughs) Maybe I'm going to wrap this thing around a tree. Frankly, at the end of the day, there was really nothing to worry about anyways. This is the Pittsburgh Pirates we're talking about. Drunk driving or not, we all know the Pirates won't hit anything. (laughs) Hey, won't hit anything. It's the pirates. They won't hit anything. Anyway, anyways, you, you, you got that pun? A flight attendant called in a bomb threat to stop her ex from flying to Miami with his new lover. A flight attendant for Argentina's national airline allegedly made a bomb threat. She did this in order to prevent her ex-boyfriend and his new lover from being able to fly together to Miami for a vacation. Daniela Carboni, age 47, is a flight attendant for Aerolíneas Argentinas. Daniela was arrested at the International Airport in Buenos Aires after she allegedly used her daughter's cell phone to send the bomb threat using some voice distortion software. Wow, on top of uh, calling in a bomb threat, (laughs) you you use your daughter's cell phone to do it? (laughs) Thereby... uh, making her an accomplice, I'm, so, I'm sure, on some level, or at least implicating her. <laughs> Sounds like a lovely woman, this Daniela Carboni. I can't understand why she would be anybody's ex, to be honest with you. <laughs> Here's a quote from her on the, apparently, some, some voicemail. 
tell the captain that we planted three bombs in Miami. Stop with politics. Check the plane because they are going to fly into a thousand pieces. I don't know if there was a cackling, threatening laugh at the end of the message. I just put that in there myself. I thought it was appropriate. It says here, all 270 passengers, 12 crew members, had to be evacuated for the flight, which had been scheduled to depart from Miami at 7 in the morning. Ooh, a photo of this lovely woman, Daniela. Wow, she looks like she had, she had a plane crash on her lips. <laughs> I mean, how much Botox can you have, lady? Uh, must be an Argentinian thing. It says here, uh, Daniela and her lips were arrested by the airport aviation security police. She's been charged with aggravated coercion, public intimidation, and hindering a public service. You're going to need a bigger jail cell just for these lips, man. Two iPhones were seized at her home. I assume one is belongs to her daughter. Poor daughter is getting wrapped up into something she doesn't want anything to deal with, I imagine. A bomb threat. Investigators reportedly discovered searches on the, both devices for how to investigate audio. Can you analyze an audio to find out whose voice it is? Activate voice recognition and Areolinas Argentinas. These are all searches. <laughs> she should have used the devices instead to do a search for some dating apps and move on. Uh, maybe do a search for uh, how do you destabilize your lips? Daniela is accused of making the threat so her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend of five years, also a flight attendant, would not be able to fly to Miami with his new girlfriend, who was also a flight attendant working on the flight. Wow, these flight attendants. Ooh, it's so scandalous. Sounds like a reality show in the making. Uh, the airline that they all worked for told the local news outlet that Daniela is a separated mother of one, a 25-year veteran of the aviation industry, and she could not bear being abandoned for a younger woman. Now, apparently there's a plot twist to this whole story. I'm not sure how legitimate it is, but I'm going to read it to you. I found it in a second article. It was revealed later by local newspapers that Daniela may be an alleged secret agent working to destabilize the airline business. Authorities discovered that her goal was to create fear and chaos among passengers and crew members. Mm, not sure I buy this. Investigators say they learned that Daniela used her five-year relationship with her ex-boyfriend as a cover-up to earn the trust of her co-workers and put the company's flights at risk. To me, that uh, doesn't really make sense. If you're going to try and find an agent to do such an act, it's not someone who's been at the airline for 25 years. And I highly doubt someone who's been there for 25 years would do this. You're on the verge of retirement. And she just coincidentally had, uh, you know an expired five-year relationship and the dude was going on vacation with his younger lover. I mean, come on now. Anyways, that's just my opinion and I'm obviously far away from the situation. Thankfully, because I don't want to be around people like this. Yay! Want to create a podcast? Spotify's platform lets you easily make, record, and distribute a podcast everywhere. Even earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters. Record and edit on your phone or your computer. Distribute it to Spotify and everywhere podcasts are heard. They even have video podcasting options. Spotify for Podcasters allows you to earn money with ads and subscriptions as well. Best of all, as I said, free. Try it. Download Spotify for Podcasters or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your life, man. In Poland, there will be no more rides to hell on bus 666. Warsaw, Poland. You can no longer go to hell on bus 666. Can't take the bus to hell, but thankfully you can still take a handbasket. The bus to the town of hell on Poland's Baltic coast has long been popular with various tourists. But unfortunately, some Christian conservatives have protested this number signifying the devil on a bus leading to a place that sounds like the word hell in English. Wow, it's just difficult being a conservative Christian, man. <laughs> Imagine a number causing you such anxiety. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure Jesus was very upset by a number as well. It's, it's what he stood for. Never mind real problems in the world. Got to get rid of that number in life. I know it gets my panties twisted in a bungle. Now, the local bus operator in Warsaw, it's called a PKS Gdynia, 
You got a G followed by a D, man. Come on. Gdini, Gdini, Gdini. Maybe the D silent. Dinia, Dinia. I'm not even gonna attempt this anymore. It's just embarrassing. The bus operator announced this week that bus number six 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 will no longer return to hell. They said they had flipped the last number and would now run the line under the number six six nine starting next week. Six six nine. They changed it to. That's the important thing that they changed it to the six to the nine. Whew, whew, oh goodness, I can feel the world being uh, less problematic now without without that six six six. Yeah, can you feel it? It's now a safe place for all of us now because they swapped out that number. Uh, but I tell you, it, it's not going to end here. Wait till the conservative Christians find out what six nine means. Ooh, boy, you're going to have to flip that number again, bus operator. Now, it says here the bus company acted under quite a bit of pressure from Christian groups who were pushing for this change, but were already thinking of returning to the old number amid a public outcry over the change. So they're actually getting a huge public outcry over this change and might go back to the original 666, which I think they should, because I don't think you should fold to conservative Christian groups, in my opinion. Now, uh, they have been operating under the number 666 since 2006. First, it was a a joke before attracting riders from across Poland and beyond. Some people rode the bus simply to say they had taken the 666 bus to hell. I'm on the highway to hell on bus 666. Now, the bus hasn't been operating without some pushback. Fronda, a Catholic publication, has for many years called for the 666 bus to be renamed, arguing that it had satanic overtones and that, quote, to present the reality of eternal damnation as amusing in any way is just plain stupidity. Uh, sadly, this publication is a victim of unexamined behavior themselves because one could argue to get all in a bunch over a number is also plain stupidity in life given the real problems that we're all facing on a daily basis in this crazy world. And you really can't deny the humor and fun in being able to buy a ticket to hell and back. Am I right? <laughs> I think that's just amazing. I would totally do this. Now, I did a little dive into this story and learned that Finn Airline, Finn Air, used to operate a flight, flight number 666 to hell every Friday the 13th, but they stopped all that in 2017, no doubt for the same reasons that they're making the change on this bus number. However, there is a flight that still exists from sin to hell. And you can look that up on your own and find out those places. And you could take that flight, which I'm sure you only have a certain window before that's canceled as well. We want to thank all of our passengers today for making bus 666 their choice of travel to hell. Yay! Hello, my loyal listeners. Thank you for joining me for Weird AF News. And if you're new to the show, just be aware we do weird news. I do weird news five days a week. And on Friday, it's only weird news from Florida. Uh, that means tomorrow. Tomorrow will only be weird news from Florida. I call it Florida Friday. And if you want to send me some weird news from Florida from this week, please do. My email is funnyjones at gmail.com. You can also send it to me in my DMs at funnyjones on Instagram. If you would like to call the show, the number six four six four five zero twenty twelve. I'm going to actually publish some phone calls after this. And uh, we heard from uh, a listener in Brazil who was educating me on the proper pronunciation. So I appreciate that. Uh, Love my South American listeners. I, I don't have that many. So, also a, a nice call from all the way from Western Australia. Shout out to Derek, who left me a wonderful message. So appreciate that. It's nice to know I have listeners in Australia as well. And then I uh, also got a nice message from Tammy Tornado, who sounds like a wrestler, and she's she's uh, very very cool. So I want to thank everyone who called. Feel free to call yourself. Leave a message. Uh, lastly, if you'd like to support the show, you can go to weirdafnews.com, the official website of Weird AF News. And on there, you can buy Jonesy a coffee, or you can buy, uh, I'm sorry, you can join the Patreon as well. Another good way to support the show is join the Patreon. You can also download the Patreon app on your phone. Do a search for Weird AF News. Okay, we'll see you all tomorrow for Florida Friday, and good luck with your life, man.
Jonesy, my name's Derek. I'm calling from Western Australia. Long time listener, first time caller. Two things. First of all, who the hell wears a tank top on their LinkedIn profile? Seriously. You want to be taken seriously? I don't think so. Secondly, how could you make jokes around the Titan submarine? I mean, who would think so low? Love your show. My son and I listen to it all the time. Love your Florida Fridays. Reminds me over here, we have the NT News, the Northern Territory News. I um, would love for you to have a look and maybe occasionally do a bit of a feature of our weird AF news because it's out there. Um, anyway, love your show. Love what you do. Good luck with everything and um, good luck with your life, man. John Z. Hi, John Z. It's not that you care, but the name of the beach that you mentioned in Brazil, which is the second best nudist beach in the world, is Praia de Tambaba. And it's near or in or uh, in João Pessoa in Paraíba. I've never been there. I live very far from there. All right, then. Good luck with your life. Hey, you weirdo. This is Tammy Tornado. Just to let you know, and anybody else know, that if you have a Echo show, you can just say, Echo, please play Weird as Weird AF News. That's Weird AF News on your devices. Okay? Thank you, Jonesy, for the heads up. Bye-bye.